Welcome to the video, my name is Sho, and this video is for somebody who's currently feeling stuck. Even though, in hindsight, you achieved a lot of things, you came a long way, but then you're experiencing the ceiling, and then you don't know how to break the ceiling, and it's so frustrating, because I was there for a long time. I was there for more than six months. When I was feeling stuck, even though, you know, I achieved this amount of followers and I have the dream life and etc. So even though I have this goal and then that, and I want to do this, I want to do that. But I have this ceiling that I somehow couldn't break through. And when we are feeling stuck, this is exactly what we do. We focus on how, we focus on the strategy, we focus on the marketing, we focus on how can we fix this? How can I improve this? Oh, just give me a, give me a strategy. But the truth is, it comes from here, not anywhere else. So the more you focus on the strategy and how to fix it, and how to do this in XYZ, it will feel more frustrating in stock because the freedom and the key is in your mind. And we are not aware of that. So which means, whatever the weapon you use, we cannot break the ceiling. We cannot break through. Any weapon you use, bazooka, sword, katana, AK-47, you cannot break through. Every strategy in marketing and in whatever that you, this how, cannot break through a ceiling until it breaks through here. So here's a story that I've heard a long time ago. And there was a gentleman, he was genius in opening the key. So somebody challenged him to lock him up in a jail cell for 20 for, uh, 24 hours and challenged him if he can open that key. And he accepted the challenge, he went into the jail cell and then he had this, you know, the, the thin wire thing the, uh, that he can use to open the lock. But he tried so hard, he tried so hard for 24 hours and he got panicked because it didn't open. It didn't open at all. And he gave up. He had this old mental breakdown and he was like, he was this number one guy. He was this top genius. But then he couldn't do it. And after 24 hours, this one gentleman came. And without turning the lock, he opened the door. And now he realized the door was open from the beginning. The moral of the story is that most of the time, the key is not the thing, the key is here. If he is just so relaxed, if he's so confident, if he just push or pull that door, he would have noticed, but he didn't give a thought. Why he didn't give a thought? Why he didn't even try to just shake the door or slide the door? Because he believed it is completely locked he needs to find that thing and find out how he can just turn it into the right way so that he can open it. He focused on how. He focused on the strategy. But he wasn't focusing on here. Entire time, it, it was open. You might think, yeah, like, why, why wouldn't this guy just give a thought? Just to slide, push, pull. Just, just give it a try, you know? He didn't because he believed that it was completely locked. He hypnotized himself so that the, all of his behavior and decision-making pattern was completely caged. He wasn't caged technically because it was, was wide open from the beginning, but he was caged in his mind. And literally 90% of your goal that you want to achieve or this current situation that you want to fix, will be solved or you find a solution once you actually change your mindset and once you believe something else. Because here's the thing, your self-image, the idea, the concept of yourself, right? And then you have some sort of identity and then what you're capable of, who you are and X, Y, Z. Your self-image is not just only an idea or concept about who you are. Your self-image directly determines your performance in your reality. Let's say you're very bad at cooking, yeah? Sure, bro, like, I'm so good at everything else, but I'm so bad at cooking, mate. I can't cook. 
So you keep telling yourself that, oh, I'm bad, I'm bad cook. And you keep telling your friends, I'm bad cook. I can't cook. I can't grill a sunny side. I can't grill a scramble egg. It's, it's so difficult, mate. I'm, I can't cook. So your part, your part of the self-image is that you are not capable to cook. You are a bad cook. You cannot cook. And re repeatedly, by repetition, you tell yourself that I cannot cook, so that you didn't try. And then you tell your friends you don't cook, so your friend doesn't allow you to cook. All of your physical decision and physical action and the entire outform or sh shape of the reality is based on your self-image. And it directly determines your performance, so you cannot cook. But clearly, cooking is not a typical thing. If you actually practice every single day to just like cook some easy things, then you're going to be able to cook some decent stuff. That's not a typical thing. That's not magic. It's literally math. You know, you put a certain amount of soy sauce. You put a certain amount of salt. Of course, you're not going to just like throw a fucking fist of the salt in anything. You just pinch of the salt, right? So if you understand this basic thing, then cooking is not that typical. But you believe that you cannot cook. You believe your self-image. You believe that you're a bad cook. And as a result, you cannot perform because that is a command to your subconscious mind that do not be able to cook. Just don't stay a bad cook. So it's the same thing. So it's the same thing. You want to scale business. You want to get to the next level. You want to have uh, another 100,000 followers or millions of followers. Or you want to become a best influencer. Or you, you want to be the best selling also. You want to be the best speaker in the world. Your self-image and then what you believe is exactly what you need to change. Oh, maybe like she's speaking about this like... Um, new marketing strategy. Oh, that he's speaking about this click funnel and an X Y Z. You're completely focusing on how can I fix this? How can I improve? How can I fix it? But your mind is still the same. You, you basically in your mind is still the same person. So then, as a result, you're not going to break through the ceiling. You cannot. And this is literally the only reason the ninety percent of the people fail when they are feeling stuck. And I was there too. I was, I've been there. And in quite a while, like more than six months, I think 12 months or so, I was feeling stuck because I focused on, oh, this marketing, this strategy and X, Y, Z. And I've tried all. I've tried all. I spent so much money, thousands of money. I tried all, but it didn't work because my mind didn't allow me to behave in a certain way. My mind didn't allow me to decide a certain decision. Because of my self-image, because of what I believed. So right now, I want you to drop whatever the things that you're working on, you know, your physical actions and the strategy and marketing. Just drop it all, okay? And just have a deep breath. And tell yourself, I can do it. If you want to scale your business, I can scale my business. I can make, let's say your goal is $200,000 a year. I can make $200,000 a year. If your goal is to become a TEDx speaker, I am a TEDx speaker. I, s I have public speaking all over the world. I'm the best public speaker in the world. Just tell yourself. And just keep this practice every single day. Instead of stressing you out to death, thinking about what strategy actually works and what's better and what's not. The truth is, Strategy A can work for some people and strategy B is the best option for some people. But as, again, how do you know? It comes from your mind. The freedom comes from your mind, my friend. So it's a sign for you to stop hypnotizing yourself with some low self-image. Because you have so much talent, you have so much potential, you already got to a point where so many people haven't made it. So many people gave up so many people cannot do it and then you made it so far so you've got the potential you are already a rare individual okay so don't don't keep hypnotizing yourself that you cannot cook and you cannot do this and you cannot do that if you want to get to the next level if you want to actually achieve your dreams and scale your business by reprogramming your mind and like i said this is everything if you change your mind this is the most powerful weapon that you can use 
no other marketing strategy, no other bullshit, how can I fix you, all these funnels, whatever. These are just tools. But your mind is the one who can control everything. So if you want to stop stressing you out and just like finding out, figuring out what's the best way, the next way to see, but being that person who can just do everything effortlessly, manifest everything effortlessly, achieve your goals effortlessly, never chase, attract. If you want to become that person, if you want to be able to do so, then I have a great news for you. I have open spot, only just three spots left in my coaching and so you can apply from the link below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Live your life like a movie.